So, this is last days of old earth. I'm kind of clueless as to the general gameplay, so I cannot actually know, I don't know anything about this. So let us just start with the tutorial. We'll see how this goes. Oh, um, this tutorial will teach you everything you need to start get started with the game. Lead the nomad, nomadic Skywatchers clan who are leaving their home to journey north towards the equator. The sun's dying warm and it feels strong enough to sustain life. In most scenarios you'll start with an HQ and one scout army. Click on your arm to select them, then order them to move the highlighted tile. Look at your action points in the top left corner. Okay, I have 11. Moving in an army has an action point cost that goes up as the army gets larger. Because your scout army only has one unit, it will cost one action point to move. Your scout army can't move any more this turn, but you still have action points left enough and enough free more, more unit by some more units. New units can usually only be deployed into structures. The cost of the card will be deducted from your total resources, shown at the top left of the screen. Try an absolved skirmisher card from your hand in the clan home to play it, okay? Click on clan home to open it and view the card you just played. This is garrison, dedicated number for- okay. Uh, but only units in the garrison will gain any bonuses the structure may provide. The, your HQ is the most important structure on the map. <coughs> if your HQ is captured by the enemy you will lose the game, so it's a good idea to make sure it's always defended. Post structure screen, screen, screen to continue. You still have some action points left, but those won't be wasted if you end your turn now. They will start your production sur start to fill, to fill your production surplus bar. When the production surplus is full, you can spend it to gain one resource of your choice for free. Click and turn button to continue. Buy initiative dice. Beginning of your turn, you'll roll against your opponent to see who goes first. Going first not only lets you act before the enemy, but also grants you more action points. You spend resources to purchase dice and give yourself the better chance of going first. Spend some of your extra energy resources to buy another initiative dice. Click the plus button next to energy resource. Buying extra dice costs one resource per extra die for the first few, but the price will go up the more you buy. Please confirm the roll and see how the results. Okay, the player who rolls highest always receives 12 action points for the round. The other player receives fewer AP depending on the number of players in the game. Click accept to continue. Your scout army is rested so you can explore more of the map. Exploring, pressing forward and battling opponents prepare you before they can prepare defenses is key to victory. Move them to the highlighted hill tile. Some terrain types, including hill and forest, that cost extra movement points to enter, but the mountaineers in your scout army are skilled climbers and suffer a re reduced penalty on hills and mountains. Compared with their increased vision range, this makes them excellent sentries. Moving on to hill has increased the vision range of your army from 2 to 3. This can be useful to survey the map and keep, the, keep watch and off for enemy armies. Growing line circling clan home represent the limit of your supply range. Supply is vital to your armies and they will suffer considerable penalties when they are outside it. All structures generate supply. <coughs> to extend your supply lines across the map you'll need to build new structures and to build structures you'll need a hero and army to keep them safe. You have enough resources to deploy and remaining cards in the remaining cards in your hand. Sabal is a hero unit that grants special abilities to armies and the Iron John Iron John Crawler is a support unit that makes infantry more powerful. Play them both to your clan home. Click clan home. Garrison can't leave their Garrisons can't leave their structure. In order to explore, you'll need to create a new army that can be deployed to the map. Click create an army. Jaguar band. Um, Drag Sable. 
Uh, your anti iron John Crawler. Okay. Absorbed skirmishers as well. Okay. Click the army to view it and deploy. In multiplayer games, player turns as well as combat and encounters are timed, so plan your actions wisely but quickly. Move your army to the highlighted tile to continue. Okay. The icons on this tile mean that it generates resources. Building collector here will add those resources to your pool every turn. Collectors can only be built on tile that, tile that generates resources. Uh, da, 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 da. You need a hero. I need a hero. Select your army. And this. And here. After building structure, your army is unable to perform any further actions. Enter and roll for initiative. There we go. Awesome. Now that your supply has been extended, the nearby enemy for attack army is in attack range of your forces. Ap armies out of supply usually suffer severe penalties. In combat you will be attacking them from within your supply, so this won't apply. Open your collector and deploy. Move your army to the enemy unit tile and attack them. Automata scout. Automata scout. We can engage. You have a chance to arrange your army's formation. Some units give benefits to other adjacent units. Some units are best deployed in the back row. Place your iron iron crawler in the back row. It won't be able to attack the enemy from there, but crawlers are fairly weak in combat anyway. Their infantry support ability can make the make infantry units in their army song. Move your absorbed skirmishers to the front low for the best coverage of the enemies. At the beginning of the every combat round you will roll for initiative. Smaller armies roll more dice. <coughs> and the attacking army gets enough bones in the first round. Um, size penalty. Okay. But we rolled higher. Some units have abilities that can boost their allies. Select your Iron John Crawler. Infantry support. There we go. That was rather pointless. Um. Well, it's not pointless if we have to roll dice. That's good. Select skirmishers. Each success you roll will deal one point of damage to the enemy, and each success enemy rolls will negate one point. This unit has zero defense, so it can't roll any dice to defend itself. Alright, once dice have been rolled, each player has the option to spend fate points. This is characteristic unique to heroes. An army led by a hero can spend up to that hero's fate to score each game turn. This never refreshed in combat. Your army's fate value is highlighted at the top of the screen. Um, fate points. Use fate. Click use fate button or blank die you roll to spend a uh, fate point. Oh, it just makes them automatic successes. There we go. Combat Survivor. After engaging in combat, an army cannot perform any other actions and turn to continue. Uh, 
Um, we shall spend more energy. Oh, that's unfortunate. Because your army began this round, new round outside your supply range, it can unmove a single tile this turn and will be significantly weaker in combat. Movement is displayed in the army banner as colored peeps. Notice how only one is blue. Right click your army to inspect it. Um, click army info. Uh, army info. Look at army, army out of supply. Okay. That's bad. That's really bad. Holy hell. Notice that your units have very low attack and defense stats. Right click to inspect the effect in detail. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Sending your supply. Um, by building structures is vital. Take this army and build an outpost. La Gris city. Enemy HQ is in range. Note that the red line of the enemy supply that is now visible, which can, you can only see when the structure providing it is visible. HQ is too well defended for your army to take it. Click on the enemy structure to view units stationed in it. Um. All right. Kappa. Kappa. Kappa in the chat. Uh, you can view more card. View cards in more detail. To right clicking them or close the structure screen. Increase commando. Does not require supply. Okay. Zero AP to move in any size army. Okay. How about Mattox? Self detection rating of an army by one. Fast deploy. Oh wow. Shoot. Your deck is shown on to the right of your hand. Drawing new cards costs AP. You still have some AP remaining, so draw a few cards to reduce it up. Absolved skirmishers. Structures can't have cards played to them the same time they are built, or so end the turn for now. But, but I can I should be able to play it there. Okay, fine. Open your outpost and navigate your arm to your army. <coughs> your army is limited by its commander rating. An army's default command is 4, meaning that without a hero, an army can only have 4 units. Um, when you add a hero to an army, the army gains that hero's command, potentially decrease, increasing its maximum size. Add some new skirmishes to your army now by dragging cards direct, uh, from your hand directly to your army. Each time you spend a turn without spending all of your AP, the remainder will be stored in your AP surplus bar just below your resources. Can be spent on other resources. You have supply points left. Surplus points left. Try buying some population by using surplus points by clicking the plus button. You've got enough resources to buy some new units. All that's left is to take the enemy HQ. Good luck. I'll draw a new card. I have some more absolved skirmishers. I just have two more AP. I'll draw a new card just for the hell of it. And then I shall. I don't really need energy. So I shall. I'm gonna keep those just for the sake of it. I need initiative for the next turn. Shoo, oh wow, that was close. Okay. Let's make this army bigger and bigger and bigger. Oh, for the love of God, I wanted one more Iron John Crawler. Oh well, that's fine. Let's deploy them. Oh shit. <sighs> yep. 
Here we go. I should be able to win this. But only maybe. Okay. Okay, good, I got the initiative. Okay, thank god. Okay. One damage. Three damage. Okay. All right, got one damage. That's good enough. We need to kill that big one, big one. Quickly. All right. Oh shoot! I cannot actually reach it. That's something that I didn't know. Well, crap. Infantry support. Yeah, yeah, I have to accept that. Aha! Zero damage. <sighs> Ouch! Fortunately, though, nobody is dead yet, so. Yes, exactly enough. Ah, enough damage. Holy crap. Close. Hey, this game's kind of fun. It's a pretty simple strategy game, but it has some interesting ideas to it. I could have explored more, but nah. That was the tutorial. That gives me a pretty good idea how the game works. I might actually play this on my own at some point. Um, but no, that's enough for now.